Nothing mm -mm. good across the board. Would yep. my character know this? No, your character knows absolutely fuck all. Well, not everyone at once to use fucking tracks. <laughs> <wah, wah, wah. laughs> I've never right, had well, to introduce my character before. All right, Tenta, let's start with you. It's your on the list for me. Oh, thank you very much for that. Oh, hey, as soon as you, the sooner you get done, the less you have to speak. All right. A half-crazed, cursed tiefling who thinks he's a doctor, but is actually a bone wizard. No, your character. <laughs> or... No, he doesn't have to. <laughs> Jeez, that was the, it, it was a joke. It just went over your head. Oh, high, but... oh yeah. <laughs> head oh, wait, yeah. Right now. Oh, boy. What else you want to add? His... Oh, yeah. His name's Baptiste. Uh, he's very weirdly tall and very weirdly skinny like a scarecrow. Mm. Like seven foot four, but Dang. almost looks skin and bones. So you're super tall um, and <laughs> I'm super small. My character's name is going to be Atius Zeese, uh, 2767, uh, 310. He's a cleric of the War Domain. Um, from a splinter order called the Order of the Endless Dawn. Um, I don't have an extreme backstory going too far yet, but immediate backstory is probably going to be something along the lines of I was, you know, inducted into the church. I was raised into being a life domain to help heal the wounded and the sick when, you know, I was pretty much inducted to the order after a mentor cleric pretty much happened upon me in a wound tent, um, inducted me into the ways of war. You know, I was sent to a unit of guards from the church to be their quote unquote shepherd. And in which I met Ephes. Um, we fought together against the beast for battle after battle after battle. Um, we were doing a kind of final stand holding action for uh, refugees when our unit was wiped, and we have been traveling since. Uh, I'll be playing Shy. They are a construct. Uh, very, a lot of porcelain, a lot of gold, very heavy. Uh, they're a thespian and a bard of the College of the Apocalypse. Hopefully, maybe one day. Uh, they're also an amnesiac, so they're so just kind of looking. <laughs> they're just trying to figure out what happened, you know? So that's it. <laughs> I am Quinn, a cursed blood and very small. And I have the thing you're going to notice about me first will probably be the giant mouth in my chest. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be a rogue. Well, do you want to give your intro, V? I can't. Or, I can't. I can't. Yeah, if you just want to explain your character. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I'm playing as Ephes. Uh, they are a uh, changeling <laughs> uh, mannequin mix. Uh, the important detail to know about them, outside of being extremely stoic, uh, they have no face. So. Oh. Uh, so they are unable to talk and unable to uh, speak in a typical way. Uh, but they were with... Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember your character's name, but they were with Cad's unit um, in that final stand, and so they have a, a, a strong connection to them. Uh, my character is named Thane. All right, I'm gonna um, Thane that. is a dark elf. He is a rogue. I hope it um, and he is it a hermit, play. man. He has spent the majority of his life kind of just wandering, you know, going from place to place, never staying in one area too long. Um, this has, you know, kind of caused him to become somewhat of a outsider, uh, somewhat of an isolated person. Um, he's very quiet, very reserved, um, but don't take that quietness for weakness. <laughs> Um, he will fight for whatever he believes in. He will fight for what he deems to be the right thing. 
Um, well, and we all know that you know, the right thing can be misinterpreted. He's choking on the meat. It's so tragic. Dad, put the meat away. Get to meet him. Rowdy. To meet me. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there for this session. Zero. It really pains me. Um, but I'm sure you guys have a lot of fun. Um, Thanks. Bye bye. If you. Um. So, playing as an elf. Name's Cross Darkfell. All you're willing to share. That that's 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 it. Thanks, man. I... Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> One hour later, oh. that's what you guys get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start with the setting. I will not uh, tell them of my shame. See, and this is why I was going to mute everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so the setting takes place in a city state known as uh, Luyarna. City state was created between two countries centuries ago, uh, one of the humans to the west and one of the elves to the east. This created a, proper, a prosperous civilization where elves used their long lives and knowledge gained from such to help humans who could reproduce quickly and essentially throw bodies at any problem they had to fix till it was done. Leadership in this city state was run by a single ruler who was a half elf, allowing both sides to feel represented. This was the start of what was known as the Silver Bloodline. That's as much as I can give you guys on setting. So, the fall of Luyarna. After a long and prosperous time, there came a ruler known as the Godless King. This ruler became infamous, striking down churches out of pure hatred, but still keeping their buildings for the love of their architecture. This caused one holy sect to hold firm and fight against the Godless King. And that holy sect was the Church of the Radiant One. The Godless King struck down many of the Church's followers, eventually lighting the fuse for the Civil War, which ended with the Godless King being killed by his own kin, allowing the Radiant Church to take power. So, after the Godless King fell, there was a nation of beasts to the south who moved in and attempted to take Yarna. This ignited right after the Civil War what was known as the First War. The unfortunate thing about this was that beasts could hide in plain sight among the citizens of Yarna. So in order to combat this they created what was known as the First Jaeger. Jaegers are basically enhanced as at, you don't know how, but they are uh, enhanced humans who are able to essentially find and quickly dispatch of any beasts. With that, they built a wall around the city. And as far as you are all aware, that's about all you know. Nothing mm -hmm. good across the board. Would yep. my character know this? No, your character knows absolutely fuck all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got a ninja. Yeah, your character, right. your character literally has amnesia. Your character knows absolutely nothing. You're only here for your character introduction. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wondered. <laughs> um, I only have one question left for Mira. Mm. Are you sure you want to get up at fucking two a.m. to play this game with us? Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Listen, I feel like out of everyone, I'm probably going to have less of a scheduling issue, to be fair. <laughs> what do you mean, get up at 2 a.m.? It's going to already be up. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. Okay, well, I'm good. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. Later. I will see you all on the 13th. Improve it. Sorry. <laughs> except for well, except for cross except for cross, cross. Yeah, except for cross. <laughs> where is he <laughs> i can't believe it's that easy to guess <laughs> he's motherfucker a said motherfucker said i'll be there <laughs>